bottoms and his hay to the sovereign he pulled. Brave sailor, beware of the brigands of war when mysterious fathoms below. Fathoms below. This perfection, Grimsby, out here with the seas meet the skies, surrounded by nothing but water. Oh, yes, it's simply oh, delightful. The salt on your skin and the wind in your hair and the waves as they ebb and they flow. We're miles from the shore and guess what? I don't care. As for me, I'm about to leave home. Mm -hmm. Tell the line. I'll sing you a song of the king of the sea and his tale to the starboard he pulled. The ruler of all of the oceans is he in mysterious fathoms below. King of the sea, well, that's nautical nonsense, nothing but a superstition. The king of the ocean gets angry, and when he gets angry, beware. I'm telling you, lad, when King Triton is mad, how the waves will pluck. Walk to and fro, hold on, good luck, as down you go. What is that? Do you hear something? My lord, please, enough seafaring. You've got to get back to court to honor your father's dying wish and take up his crown. Suppose I don't want his crown. You'd forsake his kingdom, all of his treasures. Treasures? You mean... Like this? <laughs> Who needs it? We drink straight out of the bottle, don't we, boys? Yeah! Or, or this? Not while we've got the sun and the moon to light our way. Or this? No thanks. I'd rather read with uh, with my bare hands. Yeah! <laughs> You're a prince, sire. Not a common sailor! These men are anything but common. They're free, Grimsby. Truly free. They don't have to answer to anyone but the sea. Oh, I'd rather be a sailor than a prince any day. This is where I belong. Everything seems more real here. Strange how at home I feel here in the tide swift. And if the pull is strong, I almost think I hear the sea, wild and free, calling me from fathoms below. There it is again! We ought to head back to shore, Your Majesty. Good. Not while I'm captain. Now follow that voice to the ends of the earth if we have to. Aye, aye, captain. What's the matter? Haven't you ever been to the surface before? Yeah, sure. Me and the other fish in my school, we come up here all the time. Is that so? Sure, we're not scared of sharks, or boats, or fishermen. What's a chum bucket? Are those for real? <laughs> you are afraid, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm here now, aren't I? With you? Flounder, you're blushing. It's sunburn. You get it up here. Are you flirting with me? Gross. Blech. No way. But if I was? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guess what I found today? It was floating in the wake of a giant ship. Treasure? I'll say, look. Have you ever seen anything so amazing in your entire life? Cool. 
What is it? I don't know. Airspeed. Check. <laughs> Altitude. Whoa. <laughs> Check. Landing gear. Check. Ah, clear the runway. Hello, Ariel. <laughs> but I know just who to ask. Hey, Scuttle, look what we found. Ah, more human paraphernicular, eh? Well, you've asked the right bird. I happen to be an expert on this very speciality. Can you tell us what it's for? This is rare, redonkulously rare, and in cysteine condition. What? What is it? It's a dinglehopper. A dinglehopper? Commonly used in saloons. Yes, of the beauty variety. You see, humans, they like to wear their hair in tails. Pony, pig, or duck, it's all the same to them. A primp here and a twirl there, and voila, a pop adorable. All thanks to... The dingo hopper. I'll give you two sand dollars for it. Scuttle, no. I'm telling you, kid, on the open seas, you won't get more than a few clams. But I am prepared I'm to offer... I'm not selling it, Scuttle. I'm saving it for my collection. Well, how's about a swap? You see, I've got something stupalicious. Museum quality, really. The banded, bulbous, snarf blast. Ooh. Second cousin to the tuba. It makes music. Sure thing, kid. And I ain't just blowing smoke. Why, it makes music so fantabulous, so absolutely marvelous. Music? Marvical. Oh, no, the concert. Oh, my gosh, my father's going to kill me. The concert was today? I completely forgot. Come on, Flounder. Thank you, Scuttle. You change your mind and want to sell? Call me first, you hear? Merfolk, creatures of the deep. Today marks the special anniversary when on this fateful day I inherited my father's kingdom and banished the sea witch Ursula forever. Hail and so, to celebrate our victory in honor of the occasion, let me introduce our master of ceremonies. <laughs> Presenting the court composer, Horatio Thelonius Ignatius Crustaceous Sebastian. Morning to you all. So tell us, what do you have in store? I got a special song just for the occasion, and it's going to be performed by none other than your seven lovely daughters. I wrote this little number for my star pupil. And who might that be? Your youngest. Ariel, such a voice, that child, north as clear as ice, pitch as pure as water. Why, I haven't heard such a, a magnificent sound since, uh, well... Since Her Royal Highness, may she rest in peace. You're gonna be a proud papa, you'll see. If only she'd show up to rehearsals every once in a while. Let the merriment begin! <laughs> Daughters of Triton, great father who loves us and named us well. Aquata, Andrina, Avista, Athena, Alana, Adela, and Ariel. In concert we hope to enlighten the hearts of the merfolk with and Drina, Marissa, Athena, Alana, Adela. And then there is the youngest in her musical debut. Our seventh little sister, we're presenting her to you. To sing a song, Sebastian, of her voice is like a bell. Is our 
Give her the hook. Fish puns. Aren't we better than that? Honestly, Daddy, you let Ariel get away with everything. Now, now, I love all my daughters equally. Oh, please. That answer's as canned as tuna and twice as oily. Arista's prettier than Ariel, Andrina's smarter, Alana's sweeter, Atina's older, and Adela, let's face it, Daddy, you're the only male attention Adela's ever gonna get. Hey, what, what have you got that Ariel doesn't? Naked ambition and a willingness to kill. All right, that's enough! One son, Ooh. Sebastian, was that too much to ask? For? Please, sire, don't go pointing your pappy's trident at me! Oops, uh, sorry, Sebastian. You oh, might go whip it up a hurricane by mistake. Well, look at the catfish dragged in. Daddy, forgive me, I'm so sorry. Ariel, young I lady. I just forgot, that's all. As a result of your careless behavior. Careless? A reckless behavior. The entire celebration Ruined. was... Ruined! Completely destroyed. This concert was supposed to be the pinnacle of my distinguished career. Sebastian... And now, so thanks I to you, I'm the laughing stock of the whole kingdom. And now you turn the crowd. Another lesson. Another rehearsal. Another concert. Ever again. Do you mind? Ariel, please. You've been given such a gift. I know. My mother's voice. It's a wondrous talent, one that demands stewardship and care. So please, for the sake of her memory. I will, Daddy. I promise. But it wasn't even Ariel's fault. That know-it-all seagull just started going on and on. Seagull! Seagull! You went up to the surface again! Nothing happened! You could have been seen by one of those barbarians, one of those humans! Daddy, they're not barbarians! They're dangerous. Traps and harpoons. Like it or not, Ariel, you're my youngest, my baby, so I care about you the most. But I'm old enough to look after myself. As long as you live under my reef, you obey if my you just listen rules. to me for once. That's the last time you're ever going up to the surface. Understood. You're so unfair. Heaven help me. She's headstrong, willful, stubborn as a barnacle. Teenagers, you give them an inch, they swim all over you. I can govern a kingdom. But I can't control my own daughter. I was too harsh. She'll learn to fear me. I don't want that. She needs her mother, Sebastian. And so do I. If only she were here, she'd know just what to say. She'd firmly and yet gently help the girl to find her way. She know what to forbid and what we must allow. She'd have the strength and patience that I lack somehow. Oh, what I would give to have her back right now, now, sire. It's difficult, sure, but you got to toughen up. You can't melt down for Ariel's sake. That girl needs constant supervision, someone to watch over her, keep her out of trouble. It's not a bad idea, Sebastian. Someone to safeguard her every move. Her every dog paddle. Her every side Her stroke. every dive. And you're just the crab to do it. What? You heard me. From now on, Ariel is your responsibility. Mine! But your majesty, she's, she's a clever mermaid in me. I'm just a crustacean. Or surely you ought to pick someone higher on the evolutionary scale?
the deep. Beauty of the grind. You should have seen it. All those merfolk singing trite its praise, the cursing your name. Declaring a national holiday. Holiday, my blowhole. It's the day my brother, Triton, got greedy, that's all. The day he stole my half the kingdom. To think your very own flesh and blood. And he double-crossed you. His own sister. Casting you into exile, a life of shame and uncertainty. Solitude in the shadowy depths of the serpentine sea. All right, all right. Don't blow your fuses, gals. <gasps> it should have been mine. Oh, mine. Let me tell you a story, gals. When I was a kid, a scorby little squid. Number seven, one of seven little girls, seven little pearls, pretty as would be, perfect to a T, all except for me. Ugly as a slug, hideous to hug. Daddy found me loads of and disgusting, I could tell. They all got adored, I just got ignored. Plus, to ease his guilt, a magic show. Used to belong to my pop beside me, full of legal hexes and, and spells. My little sea snakes, the perfect gift for a spurned, dangerously unstable child. Most of all, Daddy loved one sister. So feminine, so fresh, and so fine. I would watch as he hugged and kissed her. And I hated her guts from the bottom of mine. Daddy's little angel, Daddy's little sweet. Such a little thrilly film. She was seaweed and spice and everything nice. And I dreamed. And I schemed how to put her on ice. Daddy's little angel, how could I compete with a girl so heaven sent? Just one spell from the shell and back to heaven she went. <laughs> Next, what did I do? Daughter number two, for longer in a whirlpool where I left her spinning round. Daughters three and four washed up on the shore. Sadly, five and six were never found. And it didn't make my father love me, but it didn't bring me down. Oh no! Oh no! It was sad though when Dad caught that very, very lethal flu. So true. <laughs> you, With no sisters in the line above me, I inherited the whole damn show. Was it fun? Oh, a ton! So much fun! I forgot that my dad also had an addiction. No time. Yes, a son still age one, but I think it's so what? That's not Noah's little baby grew. He grew, he grew, he grew, he grew into you know who. Try then. A male heir. <laughs> as soon as he came of age, he stole everything from me. Every ocean, every lake, every pond, every puddle. So, my dear. It's time that I took revenge. Revenge on what he loves most. <laughs> For now he has a child. Sweet. Who's rather wild. And she has him wrapped around her flimsy little fin. She will be our in. She'll be what we use. Bainty can't refuse. There's no way we'll lose. Daddy's little angel. Daddy's little pet. Daddy's little priceless jewel. Heart. Ruin her as it were, it'll rip him apart. Yes. Daddy's, Daddy's little, little princess, princess, she's the one to get. Now to take it from a pro. Just get Daddy's little angel, trust me, ladies, I know. Daddy's little angel. Yes, indeed, I know. Daddy's little angel. Trust me, ladies, ha ha ha.
He doesn't understand me. He doesn't even try. I've never felt at home here. But home is with your family, isn't it? What if home isn't the place where you were born? What if it's a place you have to discover for yourself? I'd miss you if you were gone. You would? Not in a dopey way. Not in a crazy, hopeless, I'm so in love but she doesn't know I'm alive kind of way. Not like that at all. I gotta go. Flounder, you're very sweet. Daddy's never even met a human, but he thinks the worst of them. <laughs> I, I just don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be so bad. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around here, you'd think, sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them um, dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. <laughs> Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down the, what's that word again? <laughs> Street, up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free, wish I could be part of that world, what would I give? I can live out of these waters. What would I pay to spend a day warm on the sand? Bet you on land they understand. Bet they don't reprimand their daughters. Bright young women, sick of swimming. Tell me, child, you got trouble on the mind. Sebastian! What is all this? Uh, just a few knickknacks I've collected, that's all. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. If your poor father knew about this place, he'd, why, he You're not gonna tell him, are you? Oh, please, Sebastian, he'd never understand. Child, for my sake as well as your own, it's time you kept your mind on your music. From now on, you're gonna have voice lessons every day, and maybe you could take up an instrument, something ladylike. 
a hop, perhaps? A ship? Why, sure, a nice hop made out of driftwood decorated with mother of pearl, Ariel. Ariel? Hello? Somebody ought to nail that girl's fins to the floor. want to be king. I swore an oath to your father on his deathbed that I would turn you from an errant roustabout into a proper royal so that you're worthy to fill his shoes. Oh, now you're making me queasy. And that's not all. I promised I would have you married before your next birthday. Married? Our kingdom needs a queen. Oh, did you ever try and take a princess sailing, Grimsby? It's a joke. There crinolines get caught in the rigging. Most of them can't even swim. Swim, sire. Is that a prerequisite? Ah, oh, well, sure. If we go sailing, oh, where am I going to find her, Grimsby? A girl who's as carefree and alive as the sea itself. Where? Well, why do you know? Scuttle, be quiet. They'll hear you. Okay, I got you. I got you. We're being intrepidatious. Oh, it's too much to hope for, isn't it? Somewhere out there, a girl who's a match for a guy like me. Perhaps you're not looking hard enough. I've never seen a human this close before. Me neither. I thought you were an expert on this stuff, sure, but egad, the sight of it. The broad shoulders, the square jaw, two eyes, the same color. No variety. I don't know. I think he's really handsome. You do? Trust me, Grimsby. When I come across the girl in my dreams, it'll hit me like, uh, like, like lightning! Hurricane coming! King Trident must be angry indeed! Back the hatches, and then everyone below deck, and quickly! Secure the rigging! Eric, take the wheel! Wow, she has the spherical going haywire. Scuttle, be careful, watch out! I'll get you home safely! Secure it! <laughs> Man overboard! Protect! too late? It's hard to say. I uh, can't make out a heartbeat. No, look! He 
He's breathing. Oh, Scuttle, just look at him. He's so beautiful. surf and she was uh, singing uh, there now you took a terrible tumble oh, dear boy that voice i can't get it out of my head it's the sound of the sea that's all no no i'll prove it to you i'll find her and i'll thank her you for saving my life you best come with me sire a night of sleep and you'll be good as new please please you have to believe me you've had too many tall tales my boy Of course she was, as real as a siren, as real as a mermaid on the rocks. acting fishy lately. She's dizzy and she's dreamy. Her head's up in the foam. Her eyes have got all gleamy. It's like there's no one home. She floats away the days, moping on a coastal shelf. You ask her where she's going, she giggles like a fool. She barely sticks her toe in down at the tidal pool. It's more than just a face, face it, she's just not herself. Woo! Is she ill or insane? What has got her bothered so? It's the bed and the Gosh, I wish we had a clue. Oh, oh wait, oh dear, good grief. It's clear she's in love. She's in love. Hounding heart, ringing bells. I think she's <gasps> in a brand new show. She's in Sashimi left over from last week. You see her late at night, tossing in her ocean bed. Shoop, 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 shoop. She's as a snapper, oblivious to rocks. The shoe might up and tap her. She lays there like a lot. The shore is dark, she bites. Something's made her lose her head. She has lost her head. And she sighs and she smiles. 
I gotta find her before your daddy goes looking. Good luck, she's in La La Land. That girl is head over tails in love. <laughs> in love? Ariel. Come on, Flounder. Who's the lucky merman? Gee, I don't know. I didn't know it was love until the second chorus. But you know her better than anybody. You follow, follow her everywhere. everywhere. Not anymore. Not since you started chasing after humans. Humans? I hope and pray that you did not just say humans. Uh oh. Oh, don't go telling me this new love of hers. Then don't ask me. He's one of them. A oh, real oh, human? The two legged God. cat? The daddy's gonna be ripped. Dating outsider oh, species? Oh, 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 you're a regular angelfish. Water all around you, child. Still, you got to play with fire. <laughs> she go? Where can she be? When will she come again? Calling to me, calling to me, calling to there's a girl who's like the shimmer of the wind upon the water. Somewhere there's a girl who's like the glimmer of the sunlight on the sea. Somewhere there's a girl who's like a swell of endless music. Somewhere she's singing and her song is meant for me. And her voice it's sweet as angel sighing And her voice It's warm as summer sky And that sound It haunts my dreams And spins me round Until it seems I'm flying Her voice 
With all due respect, sire, you've been scouring the sea for weeks into what age? I vowed to find her, and I will. I have a better idea. On the eve of your 21st birthday, we'll invite countless edible young ladies to a marvelous ball to sing for you. What? A contest. What better way to find a mysterious voice? Yes. You'll be married by sunset that very day, just as your father decreed. That's how we'll find her. Indeed we shall. You have my word. She's out there somewhere. I just... No. I can sense her laughter in the ripple of the waves against the shoreline. I can see her smiling in the moonlight as it settles on the sand. I can feel her waiting just beyond the pale horizon, singing out a melody too lovely to withstand. And her voice, it's there as dusk is falling. And her Pure and bright, it's always near, all day, all night, and still I hear it calling. Child, there you are. A human. You fell in love with a human. I didn't choose it. It just happened. Oh, child. I thought maybe, just maybe, you'd be happy for me. Happy? Happy for you. That you're gone plum crazy. You've got to get your head out of the clouds and back into the water where it belongs. But I don't belong here. Oh. I never did. I don't fit in as hard as I try. If only I could be up there instead, walking on the very same ground he is, breathing the very same air. Child, down here is your home. The human world, it's a mess. Life under the sea is better than anything that you think they got up there. It's wrong, I swear. Believe me, child, it's the truth. The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. So look at this world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such beautiful things around you, girl. What more is your look? Under the sea, under the sea, darling, it's better done when it's winter. Take it from me. Up on that shore, they work all day. Out in this sun, they slave away. Who are we devoting full time to floating under the sea? See, child, what more than I got up there? Down here, all the fish is happy as off to the west they roll. 
Where? Oh, you just miss her, sire. She slip away. To think that she'd betray her family this way. That she'd turn her back on her own kind. She can't help it, sire. I taught her everything myself. And now she makes a mockery of everything we hold dear. Where is she hiding? If only I knew. She keeps secrets from me, Sebastian, not from you. I'll wager you know where she is. Now take me to her. <laughs> Thank you. 
happened to him once. He held this in his own two hands. Ariel! Ariel, tell the truth. Did you save a human from drowning? Who told? Which one of you? I'm sorry, Ariel. I'm nothing but a guppy. Just a lousy guppy. You get every single solo, and it's not fair. All right, that's enough! Leave us alone. You too, Sebastian. So did you? I had to rescue you the had prince. To? Without me, he would have perished. He's a human. You're a mermaid. I can't hate him because he's different. Perhaps you can, but it's just not in me. Different? They catch us with their hooks. They spear us They're with their blades. They're not like that. Have you forgotten what they did to your mother? We don't know that for certain. Can there be any doubt? She slips out one morning for an innocent swim and never returns. You can't prove anything! I know in my heart, and that's enough. Murderers, all of them! You can't blame all the humans for a few wicked ones. I won't have you building a shrine to them. Worshipping their rubbish. The debris that sully our waters. Daddy, no! The totems of their decadence. Don't, please! Never again, Ariel! Never again! Child, it's, it's because he loves you. Well, he sure has a funny way of showing it. He can break every single treasure I own, but he can't break me. Child, you just might go and break his heart. And you, some friend you turned out to be, bringing him here to my secret place? For your own good, child, I pray that you wake up from this madness soon. You're swimming in some dangerous waters. Only he could see, could love me as I am, instead of how he wished I'd be. He doesn't really care, he doesn't want to know. I hate him, yes, I hate him, God, I hate him so. Problem, doesn't she? Hmm. If only there was something we could do. Who are you two? Sweet child. Poor child. So tragic. So misunderstood. Dear child. Sad child. Life's looking, shall we say? Not good. No. Who will ease her woes and worries? Who will help her get her man? Sweet child, perhaps the sea witch can. I can't possibly mean Aunt Ursula. She knows your dreams. Father says her magic is evil. So grant your prayer. Please, I have to go. So cast a, a tiny spell. Why the alarm? No one will tell. No one will care. Sweet, Sweet child, child, dear child, poor child. Sweet child, child will bring you to a lair right now. Pet in half a sec, your prince and you are reconciled together forever. Take me to her. Sweet child. Hey. 
mistress of the deep, you've a visitor. I'm not so sure. Now, now, mustn't get cold fins. Don't be shy, no, no, darling, it's me. Your auntie Ursula. I shouldn't be here. Nonsense. We're family. Father says you're wicked and hateful. Hmm. Yes, but he says the same thing about humans, doesn't he, Schnookums? And you and I both know that that's not true, don't we? Why did he banish you? The ocean wasn't big enough for the both of us. Now he's driven you away, too. He doesn't understand me. Oh, but I do, Dumpling. We're so very alike, you and I. Girls with ambition! Nothing scares a man more now, does it? <laughs> now, tell dear old auntie everything. I'm in love with someone. A human. Mm, yes, this prince fellow. He's quite a catch. <laughs> well, the answer is quite simple. You've got to become human yourself. Can you help me? Help you? My dear, sweet child, is what I live for. To help unfortunate merfolk like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me well a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways, repented, since light had made a switch. True, yeah. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And till lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed. Pathetic, poor, unfortunate souls. In pain, in need. This one longing to be thinner. That one wants to get the girl. And do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor, unfortunate souls. So sad, so true. They come flocking to my cauldron, crying spells as the please, and I help them. Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price, and I'm afraid I had to rake them across the coals. <laughs> yes, I've had the odd complaint, but on the whole, I've been a saint to those poor, unfortunate souls. Here's my best offer, baby kids. I know a spell that would turn you into a human for three days. Now, what's got a procedural clause, sort of a squid pro quo. Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get dear old Princey to kiss you. If you do, you'll stay human forever. And if I don't? Nothing drastic, darling, I'm sure. Oh, look, small print. Your soul is mine forever, and you're doomed to spend eternity in my watery hell so clear. Lawyers, don't you just love them? <laughs> now, of course, there is one more thing. My fee. But I don't have anything. I'm not asking for much. Only your voice. My voice? Don't worry. I have the perfect place for it. Your grandpapa sighed and gave his magic triton to your father. But this was his gift, poor Moa. The magic shell. You've heard about it. Father says it's the source of all your witchcraft. Nonsense, darling. He says you die without it. Die, oh please. It's a bauble, a vessel for your voice. Trust me, darling. Your vibrato, your legato, even your belt. It'll all be safe and sound in here. If I give away my voice, how can I ever... You'll have your looks. Your pretty face. Don't underestimate the power of body language! The men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. Yes, on that it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. And after all, dear, what is I to prattle for? Come on! We're not all that impressed with conversation. True gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't and swim and fawn on a lady who's withdrawn. It's she who holds a tongue who gets a man. Come on, you poor but fortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much, just your voice. You poor but fortunate soul. It's sad but true. If you want
want to cross a bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead and sign a scroll. Lots of jets, so now I've got a boy. The boss is on a run. You poor So how's about a cupcake? If I become human, I'll never see my family again. My sisters, even my father. Do what, Principal or not? Five, four, three, yes, two. Yes, yes! I'll do it. Where do I sign? Not just any ink, darling. Use mine. Yes. <laughs> Beluga, say Fruga, come winds of the Caspian Sea. La Lexus, La Sidus, Sad Max, Laryngitis, La Voce to me. Now sing, sing your voice over to me. Now look who got beat. Now wait a minute. There's something different. But don't you tell me I'll decipher it for myself. Aha. Your hairdo. You've been using the dingle hopper. She got legs, you idiot. She traded her voice to the sea witch and she got legs. What? No. Not your beautiful pipes. You see, not a sound. Aw, oh, kid, hoits me to say it, but that was a lousy swap. What would her father say? I'll tell you what her father say. 
Her father'd say he's gonna kill himself a crab. That's what he'd say. She's got just three days. Three days? To what? To make the prince fall in love with her. And to prove it, he gets to. I mean, he's got to. Kiss her! The prince? Well, you want to snare the prince, you've got to teach yourself a graceful way of perambulating. She'll do no such thing. Sure she will. Come on now, upsy-daisy. Ah, oh, what's this? Are you giving up so soon? That's not like you. You've got to have a little gumption. Yeah, a can-do kind of altitude. Take it from a gull who knows. Now look at me. You see this face? In terms of beauty, I'm a basket case. And as for style and savoir faire, well, I guess there ain't a whole lot there yet. Although perhaps it makes no sense. I strut my stuff with lots of confidence. So I lack an awful lot. There is one thing I've got. I've got positivity. I've got positivity. It gives me the zam and the zow and the yaddle laddle laddle. That's why I walk with a wiggle in my waddle. Cause once you've heard that word, there ain't nothing you can do. So let that positivity work for you. Positivity, there's no such word. But there is in the dictionary, right between pop suckle and prehysteric. Believe you me, I've seen it work miracles. With the bip and the bap and the bop bop. Slip and clap till your wish comes true. There ain't nothing you can't be. You see, it's really your prerogative. You simply can't be negative. Then there's you just sitting there, smack down flat upon your derriere. That's the way you wanna be. Well, you might as well be rubbery. Stand right up and just your seat. Walk real tall upon your own two feet. Sure, you'll trip and make a mistake. You've got what it takes. Have we met? Yes. Yes, of course. Oh, I've been looking for you everywhere. Please, you must tell me. What's your name? Excuse me? Oh, you don't speak English. Oh, uh, sore throat, eh? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You don't speak at all, do you? For a moment there, I, I mistook you for somebody else. Whoa, what is it? You're, you're hurt. No, you need help? Uh, oh. uh, a 
bit dizzy, aren't you? Well, I've got just the remedy. A warm bath and a hot meal. <laughs> Come on now, you'll be fine. The palace isn't far. Bravo, Ariel. That's what I call reeling him in. Oh, this is gonna get me in real hot water. Leave this guy. Majesty. Have you found her? We've searched everywhere. We have found no trace of your daughter. So keep searching until you do. Yes, sire. I never meant to wish her ill, Daddy. I know. I know. And she never comes back, and I'm forced to sing her solo. Ah! Don't call us. We won't rest, Papa. Not until she's home. Thank you, dear child. As if the loss of your mother wasn't enough. Was to shore like kelp. Perhaps it was a horrible shipwreck. Oh well, we'll never know the truth. She won't speak. Not a single solitary word. <sighs> Do what you must to make her presentable. A scrub in the tub, a proper frock. Getting your strength back, Fury? I can't help but wonder what must she be thinking. Hear her thoughts. Ladies, 
In two short nights, the prince will be holding his contest, and young women will be singing themselves silly all to win his heart. Tonight, he'll save us some quiet. Look at it all, look how it gleams, lovely beyond my wildest dreams. Look, it's him, so handsome and refined and slim, sweet, sincere, magnificent from head to toe. Good evening. Well, uh, now I'm the one who's speechless. Hungry? the wall, under the gutter, into the window, the things I do for that girl. But finally, somewhere safe. <gasps> uh oh. Attention, attention. Le menu pour ce soir. L'escargot. L'obster bisque. Tuna tartare. Holy mackerel. Mix it up. Les poissons, how oh, I love les poissons. Love to chop and to serve little fish. First, I cut off their heads, then I pull out their bones. Oh, mais oui, ça c'est toujours delish. Les poissons, les poissons. <laughs> ha ha ha! With a cleaver, I hack them in two. I pull out what's inside and I serve it all fry. How I love little fishes, don't you? Here's something for tempting the palate. Prepare in the classic technique. First you pound the fish back with some rabbit. Then you slice through the skin. Easy belly a slice. And you're up so soft in. It's a fit. <laughs> Cause that makes it taste nice. Tout à l'heure, I have this one. Shh. Sacre bleu. What is this? I want to ask you this. Such a sweet 
Eatle Succulent Club. Have the marsh, but alas, you belong in the sauce. We serve flour, I think, just a dab. Then I'll starve with bread. It won't hurt, you'll be dead. And you'll surely be lucky you are. Cause it's gonna be hot. Where are you? Ha <laughs> ha! In my big copper pot. To the loom, mon poisson. Ah, It's been a long time, hasn't it, Prince Eric, since we've dined in the company of such loveliness. Usually it's just me and Grimm, and he's got to look across the table at my ugly mug. My, the bat certainly did its wonders. She's groomed for a groom, you might say. Easy, old boy, easy. <laughs> my, isn't that unusual? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, don't tell me she's fond of tobacco. Ah, oh, I see, it's the pipe. I can't say I blame you. That's an antique mare sound from Dusseldorf. Oh, good heavens! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, old boy, but uh, looks like your pipe smoked you. Very amusing, yes. She certainly knows how to make you smile. Shall we? And now, something truly exquisite. The crème of the crème de la crème. Ho, 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 you may ask, but what is it? It's a teensy surprise, a delectable treat. One I'm sure you'll just love. Allez, bon appétit. Curried bass, kibbutz milk, vegetable, tuna milk. If it's good, it's been good all through our tea. Fish lightly toasted and roasted and steamed. Toast in a blender and tenderly creamed. Dish after dish like you wish to have dreamed. And now. For the grand finale, la pièce de résistance, a delicacy by golly, you won't find in restaurants, a tidbit to tease your taste buds with that certain je ne sais quoi. Voila! Get the crowd.
<laughs> Just look at the two of us, eh? What a couple of misfits. You're a quiet girl in a noisy world, and, well, I'm a prince who'd rather be a simple sailor. We're both... Uh, fish out of water, you and me. Oh, what? Did I say something wrong? Look, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, who needs words, anyway? A smile says just as much sometimes. Nimble on your feet, aren't ya? <laughs> Dancing beats small talk any day. Why, sure, it's the way your feet smile or, or laugh. It lets you say so many things. Dancing is a language that is felt instead of heard. You can whisper, sing, or shout without so much as a word. Try it. Go on. Like so. <laughs> Just let your emotions tell your body what to do. See how much a single gesture can reveal. And every little step, every single step, is one step closer to saying what you feel. Once the music hits you, inhibitions fall away. And you find that you're expressing things your voice dare and say. Don't be afraid, let go. Soon as you surrender, what's inside will sweep on through. As the boundaries between us disappear. And every little step, every single step, is one step closer to talking loud and clear. A dance is like a conversation, except you never need to make a sound. And once you've begun, you speak as one give and take, back and forth, round and round. It's a language that's felt instead of heard, but it says much more than language ever could. And every little step, every single step, is one step closer, one step closer. Do you hear that? 
forgive me. I, I haven't been myself lately. Oh, it's after midnight. I should, I should let you get some sleep. Good night. Out of the frying pan, into the fire. The things I do for you, girl. Now I know what I should do. I should march you right back home, dear father. So you, you, you can be miserable for the rest of your life. It's true. I got no backbone. All right, child, I'm in. We got to make a plan to get that boy to kiss you before it's too late. Now, the first thing you got to do is you got to bat your eyes like this. Oh. Now, pucker your lips like this. Now, put those two together. Oh, that's good. You do those two things and you're gonna have that boy in the palm of your hand. Now come on, off to bed with your child. Too close for comfort, gals. One night, and already they're dining together. Then dancing cheek to cheek. I should have known. There's only one thing more potent than my black magic. The power of true love. Teenage hormones. <laughs> Seems a little tart. Is off to quite a start. Just one night in Princey Poo is wallowing in bliss. Think what they will do by sunset number two. What? Idiots! Go up and block a kiss. Yes, your wretchedness. In the meanwhile, her poor proud pappy Betty's wondering where his baby's been. Worried sick. So upset. Not happy. Soon he'll guess that, oh yes, all the fun will begin. Daddy and his angel, how they're gonna hurt. Once my plan is in full flow. Once the kiss goes amiss, then the girl will be mine. Once she's had, then her dad will be caught on my line. Then my spell from the chalet, up to heaven they'll go. No girls ever dared to join me out here before. Too afraid they'd muddy their shoes, but not you. Peaceful, isn't it? Not another living soul for miles and miles. Nothing is happening. A day spent all morning on horseback, then a picnic, and now this without so much as a peck on the cheek. So. How about this weather? Oh, this is going nowhere fast. 24 hours. He'll be married off. Poor Ariel. She'll be deep six. We got to do something, and quickly. But what? We got to create the right kind of mood. Oh, I gotcha. Something romantical. 
candlelight and shampoo? Nonsense. It don't take all that. Everything we need. We got it right here. Percussion. Strings. Oh, yeah. Winds. And words. There you see her. Sitting there across the way. She don't got a lot to say. But it's something about her And you don't know why But you're dying to try You wanna kiss the girl Yes, you want her Look at her, you know you do Also, though she wants you too There is one way to ask her don't take a word, not a single word. Come on and kiss the girl. Sing with me now. Sha la 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 la. My oh my, look like that boy to shy and go kiss the girl. Sha la 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 la. And it's sad, and it's a shame. Too bad you're gonna miss the girl. But you know, I really ought to know your name. Maybe I could uh, guess. Alexandra. Uh, Annabelle. Beatrice. Ariel. Her name is Ariel. Ariel? Ariel. Hey, that's, that's kind of pretty. Okay. Ariel. Some kind of freak storm. Oh, I, I ought to get back. It's my birthday tomorrow, and we're hosting a contest. Grimsby wants me married by sunset. Who else? Most merciful Triton, I pray that you keep calm. Where is she, Sebastian? Where? She'd be so angry if she knew I was here. I entrust my youngest daughter to you, and what happens? I'll have you cracked. I'll have you shelled! He almost was, your greatness, and all for Ariel. You two. What kind of tragedy will it take? A tragedy involving the sea witch, to be exact. What did you say? These two eels came. And they took her straight to Ursula, and she traded her voice for a pair of legs, and if the prince doesn't kiss her... Her voice? She traded away her voice to become human? By sunset tomorrow, that child could be given up her very soul. Her soul? And all to that wicked sister of yours. It's time I settled things with her once and for all.
Pardon me, young lady. Is there anything else you require before bedtime? No? Very well, then. You'd best catch 40 winks. A big day tomorrow. The prince must choose his bride. Oh, mustn't look so blue. The secret to happiness, child, is we mustn't wish for impossible things. Is it about her that's so wonderfully, impossibly familiar? Why do I feel dizzy in a way I've only felt but once before? How come when she looks at me it seems like time stops moving? Almost like the way it did that day upon the shore. will have his pick of any princess in the land. How can a little mermaid compete with that? If only I knew how, I'd make him see the light. If only it were up to me, this all would turn out right. And if I only could, I'd tell you what i do. I'd simply wave me claw and make your dreams come true. And wouldn't that surprise you if you only knew? How could I have pushed her to the point of having no one left to turn to? What if I have lost her and it's all my fault? She's gone. If only I could have. If only there were time, I know we'd kiss that last. If I could turn back time, I'd change Just my way.
dear friends to our contest, the first that this kingdom has ever seen. We gather today for a vocal display, so our prince may at last choose a queen. These six princesses possess the most accomplished voices in all the lands. Tonight, one of you will go home with the crown. May the best woman win. Listen to me, don't I sound rich and loud? Am I not a cigar perfect pitch? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? That's not her voice. I'll know it the moment I hear it. Certainly one of these lovely voices matches the music in your heart. I wish I could say yes, but she's not here. <sighs> but her father rules all Prussia. She's richer than Midas. She's one of triplets, but they're willing to break up the set. <clears throat> no, Grim. <laughs> You'll be the death of me, boy. What am I to do? The sun is nearly set. Soon your birthday will be over. You must choose someone. Perhaps if we steal ourselves, take another listen. Ariel? Oh, for heaven's sake, child, you must Shh. Wait, Grimsby. Be quiet and listen. Go ahead, Ariel. <laughs> oh, poor child. Poor lost child. I had so hoped, dear Eric, that you would find love somewhere in this room. Perhaps I have. I've just been too blind to see it. But that's impossible. She didn't utter a sound. No? Well, that's funny because I heard every single note as clear as a bell. That must mean something, old boy. Perhaps it does. Could it be another contestant? That's it! That's the voice! Oh, this is most unexpected! Tell her the competition is over! Tell her she's too late! <laughs> oh, I just sunset, and the third day, too! Time's up! You lose! I'm dragging you down! Down, down, into the depths where you are! <laughs> oh, Ariel! Goodbye, it, little prince. Your pretty dress, your satin pumps. You're mine now, mermaid. <laughs> you're to spend the rest of your day tersely. Plucking the barnacles off her back. Oh. Brother, darling, you're right on cue. What have you done with my daughter? Nothing. She's done it all to herself, trading her voice away. And for what? Human heartbreak. <laughs> Give Ariel back to me. Not on your life. 
It so happens that your daughter signed a contract. No. Even drew a little heart above the eye. Is it binding? Goodness, yes. Unbreakable. Unless... Unless? There is a little something we could try. Go on. Yes. Perhaps we could arrange a sort of trade-off. Maybe swap your daughter's soul for, say, your own. What? Sign the scroll and set her free, or else she comes with me to suffer through eternity alone. The mute little hatchling, drowning in her own sorrow, with no voice left to cry out your name. <laughs> well, I'm waiting. It's not my soul you're after, it's my power. Which would you rather be? The king of the sea, or a father to his little girl? Ariel! Finally! <laughs> the oceans belong to me! And now you poor unfortunate soul, time's up, you're through. Now the power of Poseidon has been once again made whole. All the magic of the trident and the shell in my control. And our dark shall reign forever over ocean, sea, and show. Now see for yourself how banishment feels, you poor was hideous. And what was it instead? Beautiful. Beautiful beyond compare. He'd say anything to turn you against the prince and his kind. Why, he's shameless. He'd even say that they murdered your mother. Wait a minute. <laughs> if humans didn't kill her, then who did? It was you. All these years, I've been blaming them, and it was you. Who? Oh, well, I wouldn't hurt a minnow. Fire! Ah! Ah! Ariel! Daddy! Oh. Can you ever forgive me? I've caused you such terrible worry, thinking only of myself, not you, not my sisters, not this place. The only place I've ever truly called my home. I'm the one who's at fault, Ariel. Cursing humans when all along... There's goodness in people, Daddy. I know. I've seen it. Even when I couldn't. In the blink of an eye, when my back was turned, you grew up. I'm proud of you. Your mother would have been too. You love him very much, don't you? It's what she wants, Your Majesty. More than anything. Please? You belong to his world now. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much.
tomorrow at sunrise, we'll search again. But your majesty, she's lost. I won't rest until I've found her. Look, sire! Ariel? Could it be? It's been your voice all along, hasn't it? Who are you? This is my father. I'm King Triton. Astonishing, I must say. Quite defies plausibility. Uh, your Majesty? At last, I found someone who makes me eager to seize the future and claim my birthright as king. But if I slip out to sea sometimes, well, I don't think she'll mind. I think she'll be right there next to me, keeping us both on course. With your permission, sire, I'd like to make her my wife. My permission? Ariel can speak for herself. Yes, Eric! Oh, yes! Yeah. No! Can't be happening grog after bedtime, a bad idea! Are you the boy's father? Oh, goodness, no. His majesty is long dead. I'm his guardian, and nothing more. Well, I wager his father would have been proud. Of both of you. Why, why thank you. He's my one shining achievement. A bright light in a dark world. Congratulations to both of us, my friend. Uh, and, and to you. Y yeah, yes, and to you. And never say goodbye If only I could make time stop Believe me, I would try But fathers have to learn That daughters have to grow And if you truly love them You must let them go Oh, I love you so If only you could know Tall tales and superstitions, eh, Grim? <laughs> so that's truly the king of the sea And she's his daughter Does that upset you? Heavens no! I'm just relieved she's royalty <laughs>
Just you and me.